What's up, boxing bros and bro? This is a bro hammer here. Hey guys, just want to hit you with a quick little video. Something I uh, noticed on the uh, the Lomachenko Lopez broadcast on Saturday. Uh, Joe Tessitore made it a point to diss Floyd Mayweather for whatever reason. Um, Andre Ward was pointing out that uh, one of the reasons you don't see unification fights a lot in boxing for undisputed titles is because it's hard, it's difficult. Guys are afraid to lose an L and whatnot. He was elaborating a little bit more. Then Joe Tessitore went out of his way to say, yes, during the Floyd May Mayweather era, when it was more about managing the business side of boxing as opposed to the boxing side of boxing or whatever he said, it's funny because there's a double standard here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Floyd Mayweather Pretty Boy Floyd fought everyone he was supposed to fight. He beat Diego Corrales when he wasn't supposed to beat him. He beat Gennaro Hernandez when he wasn't supposed to beat him. His team was told that they were stupid for putting Floyd in the ring with Gennaro Hernandez. Moved up in weight, beat Oscar De La Hoya. Then after that, it was quote unquote about managing the business side of boxing. If I'm not mistaken, um, Ricky Hatton was undefeated. And he also had already fought at 147. Now, let's not get it twisted like Floyd was cherry picking because Ricky Hatton and Floyd are about the same size. We all know Floyd is, is not really was not really a welterweight. He wasn't a big welterweight. So let's let's get the cherry pick narrative out, out of the way. Shane Mosley. Yes, Shane was older, but he was also ranked. If I'm not mistaken, he was ranked in the top three welterweights in the world at the time that Floyd beat him. Hmm. Interesting. And just to point something out right here, a lot of you guys don't want to give Mayweather credit. And it's funny because he's been retired for a while now and people are still still have Floyd's name in their mouth. Nobody really talks about him until somebody brings him up in a haterish fashion like Joe Tessitore did. Lomachenko, the veteran, quote unquote, Pound for Pound King is taking on the young line in Teofimo Lopez, who's only had 15 fights. They're, they're praising him for taking on Lopez. He wasn't able to come out victorious. He got beat. Nobody's saying he's old. Nobody said Lopez was too young. None of that. He couldn't beat him. And that fight was about the boxing business of boxing, getting down to the boxing side instead of worrying about the business side. If I'm not mistaken, didn't Floyd Mayweather move up to junior middleweight to fight an undefeated Canelo Alvarez that was more experienced than Teofimo Lopez, had 42 fights, zero losses, same age as T.O., but had been a pro for eight years, twice as long as T.O. has been a pro. Floyd Mayweather was older than Lomachenko at 36 years old, past his prime in his Let's see, 130, 135, 140, 147, in his fifth weight division and completely dominated Canelo Alvarez. But the excuse was he was too young. Was T.O. too young for Lomachenko? You see how people have double standards when it comes to the guys that they don't like? That's how special Floyd Mayweather was. Because to be honest with you, Canelo is more skilled than T.O. Lopez. He's a better boxer. And people were talking all this noise about Lomachenko being as good as Floyd. Now, I'm not trying to take anything away from Lomachenko. He's a bad dude. He's a bad man. You have almost 400 amateur fights and you only lose one. You come into your career and your second fight on is for championships. You a bad boy. Yes, Lom Les Lomachenko deserved to be the number one pound for pound or in the top three pound for pound fighters in the world with Terrence Crawford and Canelo. I had him up there. He's not overrated, never was overrated. So on the other side, a lot of people hating on Lomachenko. No, nah, he wasn't overrated. He was rated as he should have been. When it was time to step up to the plate in a similar fashion that Floyd Mayweather did, when he was in his fifth weight division, Lomachenko's in his third, Loma's maxed out, got beat by the bigger, younger, stronger guy. Floyd Mayweather gave up 13 years to Alvarez. He was 36. Canelo was 23. Gave up probably about 15, maybe 20 pounds on fight night. 
Now, Canelo did say he wanted to catch weight, so I don't want to hear that. And Floyd Mayweather won every single round of that fight. Find, find me a round that Canelo won in that fight. I don't remember one, and I've seen that fight about 20 times. So just to put that into perspective, there's levels to this. So while ESPN or Joe Tessitore wants to talk trash about Floyd Mayweather, your boy you was cheerleading for Lomachenko couldn't do what Floyd did when he fought his Teofimo Lopez. He couldn't do that. Loma couldn't do that. Floyd did. He stepped up to the new weight class and took out the best flat fighter in that weight class. A younger, fresher guy. Brittle hands and all. Had already been a pro for 17 years. He turned pro when he was 19. Most guys don't last that long. You got to start putting things into perspective and take your emotions out of it. Recognize greatness when you see it. Lomachenko is great. ESPN was well, in, well within their right to praise him. No problem with that. But at the same time, if you're going to talk down on Floyd Mayweather, hey man, <laughs> wait a minute. Lomachenko didn't do what Floyd Mayweather did when he was in the same scenario. So... You call him one guy great, but the other guy did something greater, but yet and still you want to be a hater. Something don't smell right. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about uh, Joe Tessitore's comments. I'm surprised that Andre Ward didn't, you know, check Joe Tessitore with that comment. But I understand, you know, sometimes you just got to be a company, man. You don't want to lose your job. But that was just that statement was erroneous. Yes, it was about making the money for Floyd Mayweather, he earned that spot. But let's not pretend like the fights he took were cherry picks. He fought guys that were either undefeated, champions, bigger than him, younger than him, and hard fights, okay? Madonna was not an easy fight. Uh, Canelo was not an easy fight. Mosley wasn't an easy fight at the beginning of that fight. Haddon wasn't an easy fight. De La Hoya wasn't an easy fight. Cotto wasn't an easy fight. Pacquiao, it looked easy. But Pacquiao ain't no easy fight, especially both of you guys are up in age. You know, Floyd's a little older than Pacquiao. Body maybe even more broken down. Who knows? But yeah, guys, tired of the double standards sometimes. Just have to point that out. As always, share, like, comment, and subscribe. Bro Hammer signing out.